All right, we're at part five of the Mustang project and the workbench is pretty clean. We're uh, rounding up that. Uh, let's take a look at the vehicle itself. Um, everything over here is done, tied up nice and neatly. Uh, we did install one of our battery relocation kits and the main power lead from that comes to this distribution block right there. And then on the top of the block, we've got power for the ATC fuse panel here. And we've also got power that goes to the starter solenoid there and powers all the um, standard vehicle accessories. Notice how everything is anchored and tied up very neatly out of harm's way. Um, and uh, no more stuff just everywhere. Um, very serviceable. On the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, um, we have upgraded the charge lead on the alternator and our kit does come with a return upgrade lead for the alternator ground but given the proximity of this ground strap um, to the alternator we did not need it in this installation. Um, the charge lead comes back down underneath the nitrous solenoids and then passes down through the inner fender through a snap bushing to protect it and then from there it actually goes alongside the inner fender behind the tire and then all the way down along the frame rail to the back of the car. And you'll notice that I tied up the blue rubber fuel line as well with some Adele clamps versus using cable ties. Um, that made me pretty nervous that that line was tied up that way. In the back of the car, we've got all of our cables um, again, tied up nice and close to the frame um, above the gas filler neck and then passing through this hole in the bottom of the frame to inside the car where we've got our rear located battery and we now have all of the power connections insulated. Um, the two circuit breakers you see there protect the main run of cable to the front of the car that goes to that distribution block in the event this vehicle wasn't an accident because it is a street driven vehicle. And then we've got a large a &L fuse holder here to protect the charge lead for the same reason. Um, the on off switch we used here is a custom switch uh, made for this vehicle from a company called Autofab Race Cars. And uh, I did modify the interior panel so we could elect to keep it. Now let's go take a look under the dash. Under the dash, things are actually a whole lot simpler. Um, we've got two switches right here. Um, the one on the right is for the electric fuel pump. There was no switch on that prior. You turn the car on, the fuel pump was on. That's not that's not good. Um, and the switch on the left is for the electric fans. It's got three positions. Um, in the position towards the back, it is on manually. In the position in the middle, it's off. In the position towards the front, it's on automatically via a thermostat that will go on the manifold at a little later date. Um, we've got a pair of relays mounted up here. The top relay is for the uh, ignition controlled fuse panel, which provides power to all the ignition switched accessories. And it's a 40 amp relay, um, same capacity as that fuse panel. And the bottom relay is the uh, relay to switch the electric fan relays uh, from this switch. Notice I did put the switches both on plugs, so in the event the dash has to be removed, they can simply be unplugged. Under the dash, wow, uh, there's a lack of any kind of wiring going any kind of direction because I've removed it all. Uh, our harnesses are tied up very neatly, and I did mount that fuse panel that was under the hood of the vehicle is now mounted under the dash and it serves uh, its purpose well here because it's 40 amp capacity is just what we need so nice and clean um, the nitrous system in this car is now much easier to trigger uh, we have a console mounted switch here and when this switch is opened and pulled up the nitrous system is armed and then there's another switch That's on the throttle itself right here and when that switch is depressed when the arm switch is armed the nitro system is engaged 
Um, the owner of this vehicle is not sure how he's going to bring the nitrous in, but uh, at this point in time, this is a much better solution than what he had prior with four switches. So that's a wrap. Um, keep an eye out for a video of us in motion.